Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at City Farmer News, and they're linking to a story from the Detroit Free Press. And it's about a documentary called Land Grab. How Hearts Farms, I believe it is, well here we go over here, Hands Farms, my mistake, they are a tree farm that wanted to buy about 2,000 blighted vacant lots in the city of Detroit. And they really bought a lot of them. They did build their tree farm. And they have come through what they said, but this documentary is more about the opposition to the project. Because people in Detroit have gotten a lot of empty promises from builders in the past, developers in the past. And that is why people were angry at the idea of buying up large sections of blocks and transforming it into something they didn't know what it would be. And then the documentary actually was funded, the finishing of it was funded by Hans, uh, the billionaire, or the rich man, the millionaire, however much money he has, he's a successful business person, and he wanted to do something good for his community. He had some opposition, but he went through it anyway. And that just goes to show you, you're going to go through resistance if you want to have a, a build a good organization, build a good business, have an impact on the world. You're going to have some resistance. That resistance, in fact, is a sign you're doing something right. So don't be afraid uh, if you are starting a new farm, a new garden, and it gets a little hard. That's just proof that it's working. Because the answer to all your problems lies just outside your comfort zone. Well, that's it for this story. You can follow the links in the description for more info, including the trailer that is on City Farmer News website. And if you'd like to see more headlines like this, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great day.